All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good jab. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And they both stand up. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Just misses there with the left. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, the boxing class, hands up, chin down. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked out. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Come on, push through it. Felder's strike attempt there is blocked. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Poirier does a better job of using the guy going forward. Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights from the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponents. Felder gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? And a strong outside leg kick there. Man, these guys are falling back and forth. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. How's he gonna follow this one up? Irish Dragon going for the body kick there, but he misses no setup whatsoever there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. 
Elder gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Won that last round. This round, you wanna keep mixing things up. Use your punches. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Trying to hammer that. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Dig and kick. Finds a home for that left hook. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. 59 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Pool. And landing with 31% accuracy tonight against Paul Felder. Felder's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice punch, man. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Poirier gets touched by that leg kick attempt. That's a big strike right there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Poirier. Serve oh. him up. Go get him. Big body kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective punch there by Poirier. How about that shin? Ooh. Poirier gets hit by that leg kick. Felder's shot is blocked. Certainly found the target. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh. <laughs> it's the elbow there. Punch over the top. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's with the speed of the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. 
Whiffs on the elbow. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Iris Dragon gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. 15 seconds remain in the round. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Missed with that attempt. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too. Placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Oh, what a fantastic strike to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Misses with that punch. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Dustin Poirier. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, look at him. Right hand. Trying to get the finish. He's done. He's done. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen,